The new Mango Beta for developers added a few new things and a lot of small things that you might notice. And one of the biggest is probably the Twitter integration, which as you can see, tweets show up right along with all your other Facebook and other What's New feeds. So you can open a tweet and you can see other tweets about it, and you can write a reply to the tweet, and you can also retweet it. So that's a nice feature that's been added in. And the animation for opening the People Hub and the Music Hub is a slightly different. As you can see, it kind of has a more elegant look to it when it opens, but it also does feel like it takes longer to open, which is a slight disadvantage. You also now have LinkedIn integration in the People Hub, and you can add your LinkedIn or Twitter integration right from the settings, and just click Add an Account, and you can now add LinkedIn. Your Twitter contacts should also hopefully show up in your contacts here, and once they do, you can click them and then link them to your normal contact names, but that might take a little while for them to actually sync up, and you also have to make sure you check the Twitter option for your filtering contact list. Apparently, it might take about an hour for those to sync to your contacts. Oh, and your Twitter notifications, if someone mentions you, they actually show up in your notifications on your Me Tile, which is a great way to keep track of your tweets. Another new change is the visual voicemail here. It's been updated slightly, so it shows these buttons here, and it instantly starts playing the message once you click it, and then you can quickly get to their contact card, or you can call them, or you can delete it right there. So that's a nice little update to the interface there, and you can also, of course, switch to the speakerphone if you want to hear it through the speakerphone. The multitasking interface got a little upgrade too, and now it runs a lot more smoother, and the zooming effect is a little nicer too. And you can scroll through multiple things all the way to the end really quickly instead of going one by one. Also, the home screen won't waste one of your slots anymore unless you actually start from the home screen. There's also a new boot up logo there. You see that red square with the start logo in it? So that's new too. One very small change is that the paste button doesn't appear halfway on your screen even if you didn't have anything copied. Previously in the Mango Beta, it would appear halfway on the screen and it'd be grayed out. But once you do copy something, of course it appears there. There's also a new sound effect for when you copy or paste. If you listen, it's kind of like a computerized water droplet. Sounds pretty interesting. And then while something still is loaded in your clipboard, it will show halfway there. But once anything isn't loaded in the clipboard anymore, that icon disappears, and it doesn't annoy you anymore like it used to in the Mango Beta. There's a number of other small changes in the beta, like for your groups there, it doesn't show an icon next to them anymore, which frankly, I kind of liked the icon, it made them more obvious. And in the Music and Video Hub there, the Play All button has been changed to this button that kind of shows a more of a shuffle idea, and it just shuffles all your music. So that's another very slight change. The maps also have a very tiny change to them, and the locate me button, the me button there, has a different icon. Nothing that much different though. One thing you might have not noticed in the Mango Beta before is the favorites option here in the map, which is really cool because you can quickly see your recent things that you visited too, and you can add favorites and give them a name. And one other thing that seems to be now working is that you can actually suggest changes to the maps. Before in the Mango Beta you could open up the um, suggest changes page, but when you submitted the change it never actually did anything. Now you can directly identify where that store is and submit the change or update their phone number and Bing will hopefully update the information. So that's another great thing about it. And as you can see those favorites that you add, they actually show up on your map all the time, which is really cool.
Another small difference that someone has pointed out is that your apps there in the marquee, they show up alphabetized now in the Zune Hub. It is cool that you can actually now share pictures via Twitter in addition to Facebook. So you can just select Twitter there and you can add a caption and share it and it'll actually upload through SkyDrive for the picture sharing and it'll show up on your Twitter. You can also do that with Internet Explorer links. If you want to share a link, you can select share and then click your social networks and you can write a message about the link and it can share to Windows Live, Facebook, and Twitter. So that's definitely a great feature now. And for those of you that use Twitter, these features will all be great. They've also fixed a few minor things like when typing out a paragraph and then you go to the next paragraph, it remains capitalized. Previously in the Mango beta, when you would hit enter once, it'd stay capitalized, but once you hit enter a second time, it would actually uncapitalize, which is really annoying. So those are all the changes that we've noticed in the new Mango beta update for developers. They're definitely very minor changes, but some of them are really helpful, and the biggest ones are Twitter and the voicemail improvements. And it's overall a nice welcome change, and it shows that Microsoft is really trying to make Mango a super polished release. Keep on watching WM Power User for all the latest Mango news.